I used to think these woods were so beautiful when the sun was low. That's when you can see the rays through the trees. I used to play here as a little girl. One thing he doesn't know is I know these woods better than he does. Freedom is in the eye of the beholder. Nowhere to turn to, no place to escape. At nightfall, he keeps me bound before he leaves. Break all the windows. Tonight, bust down the door. all he'll come home to awake. is regret. Today I'm going to review the Nisi C5 Filmmaker Kit and review how I was able to create that short little film with the Sony FX30. I wouldn't have been able to do it without the Nisi C5 matte box, which I used for the entirety of the shoot because I was able to properly and manually expose all of my shots. And that's why this video is being sponsored by Nisi. And they did send me the C5 matte box filmmakers kit. I've got to say I'm happy that they did because I was able to keep that exposure on my camera precisely as I wanted it and use the ND filter system inside the map box to expose everything properly. Now when I hear of ND filters I get a little nervous because I think of how the color science in the camera itself will be affected and if you can't foresee in your head how your colors will be affected then you don't expose properly and you may end up with footage that you can't even use or that looks good. But with the C5 map box, I didn't have this issue because all of my colors looked exactly the same going into the camera as the final product. I'm gonna cover what's in the box and how I use the C5 map box for filmmaking. I shot that entire sequence on a 35 millimeter Zeiss F1.4 lens. So if I left the aperture open all the way, it would have been way overexposed. And that's where an ND filter comes in. I don't wanna change the shutter speed because I don't want the video clip to look jittery or dreamy. And I shot in 60 frames per second, so I wanted my shutter speed to be one over 125. I wanted a blurrier background, that's why I left my aperture all the way open on the lower end, and I didn't wanna compromise that as well by turning my aperture up to darken up the highlights and in turn, lose that blurry background. Now the C5 matte box is what I have to give the most credit to on how I got those shots to look so movie-like. I started by coming up with the basic script, and after finding that trailer deep in the woods, I knew it would be a challenging shoot because of the different lighting conditions, and that's where the matte box came in. Matte boxes are pretty straightforward, although other matte boxes that I've used in the past have proven to be bulky and hard to use. This one is by far more convenient. It's a clamp-on matte box, which makes it super easy to attach and detach between different setups. Like if I wanted to throw my camera on a gimbal, I don't need to spend 20 minutes breaking down the entire rig just so I can get the camera on a gimbal. You don't need rails to clamp it on. It actually clamps right onto the lens adapter that comes with the kit, so you can easily remove it. This is huge because there's nothing worse than having to stop what you're doing and have everybody kind of wait around while you prep for the next shot. I shot this entirely handheld because it would have been too top heavy if I put it on one of my smaller gimbals. If you wanted to get one of those smooth rolling shots while you still have the matte box connected to your camera, you could either use catalyst brows while you walk or a dolly track, or in my case, a little quad. This C5 matte box supports four by four inch and four by 5.65 inch filters, which is nice because it's not just for one size. Quick and easy sliding filters are better than the screw on filters because screw on filters take so much longer and there's always that stress of knowing that you might have dust particles on the inside. So you have to take it off and dust it out before you install it again. The adjustable carbon fiber top flag is nice because you can adjust how tight you want it. I can't tell you how many times I've been walking with the rig and 
and my top flag flaps right in front of the lens and it ruins the shot and then we have to do a retake. A lot of the times I use a top flag to block any light that may affect the image when it hits off the glass on the lens. The matte box is made out of aluminum, composite plastic, and carbon fiber construction, making it compact, lightweight, and versatile, especially when you compare it to the other brands that are out there. Some matte boxes are so dang heavy, it'll kill your back, and the rig becomes very front heavy, unlike this rig. Even after an hour of shooting, I wasn't strained at all. There's no vignetting at 15 millimeters full frame, and as you can see, there was no vignetting with my 35 millimeter full frame lens on my APS-C. FX30. This is important to know because if you're in a bright key environment and you're shooting in a very bright space, you'll start to see vignetting in the corners, which you have to account for while you're filming because you can't remove that in post-production unless you start scaling in a lot. It's compatible with up to 95 millimeter cinema lenses with filter threads up to 82 millimeters. So for those bigger cinema lenses, fear not. They sell it in three packages, the starter kit, the filmmaker kit, and the cinema kit. I have the filmmaker kit with four adapter rings, a true color Vario ND, one to five stops, ND16, a black mist at one eighth, so that you can meet the needs of one to nine stops, light reduction when you're shooting. It's made from high definition optical glass for the best resolution and quality. The glass is coated using the Nisi nano coating, providing a waterproof, oilproof, and anti-reflective coating to avoid ghosting and reflections. Let me show you how I installed it onto my camera. The deep filter depth blocks glare and places the filter as close to the lens as possible to ensure no vignetting on lenses down to 15 millimeters full frame equivalent. The holder has slots in the side to reduce wind resistance and the 350 grams weight makes it a perfect aerial platform for gimbal use and mounted on vehicles. The C5 comes packaged in a pouch that will hold all accessories that the C5 comes with to make it ready to use and on set with various lenses. There's a side entrance 4x5.65 filter slot to suit all your filters from NDs to grads, mist, polarizers and more. Combining the variable ND with four stop ND allow you up to nine stops of light reduction without the harsh color shift or X effect in single filter options on the market. So that's the C5 map box from Nisi. A big thanks to Nisi for sending it out. You're gonna see me using this on all of my cameras whenever I go out and shoot with the rig because it's made of such good quality and it's such a quick change out in an ND. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Joe with the Film Alliance and until the next one, have a nice week.